Okie dokie, I have another fun video. Fun for me, um, I don't think this video is going to be as popular um, as some of my other videos because this is kind of a more niche item. Um, I have a feeling the only people that are going to be watching this are people who are interested in this pin and just want to see a video on it because from what I re can recall there isn't much um, about this pin. So it's a pin I already have but I got something to kind of complete the collection for it and that is as the title probably suggests the Mont Blanc 147. I managed to get the case for it on Mercari through Bai from Japan. I just got it last night. It's interesting <laughs> to say the least. Um, my immediate reaction when I opened it and got it out of the bag was, is this fake? But from what I can find online, I I think it's real. It just kind of feels fake. It's just very stiff. I was expecting like nice, soft, supple leather. That's not really what I'm getting here. It's hard, plasticky, tough to open. I feel like I'm gonna break it opening it like this. But I guess that's kind of what you'd expect from Mont Blanc. <laughs> overpriced meh i say that as someone who owns and loves theirs though so don't be too offended but yeah this is what it looks like um on the outside it's just a nice little fold you can see everything which is an interesting choice and then you just have this little strap that kind of loosely goes in there to hold everything in. Looks like it's just sewn on and it looks like it's already starting to get some creases. I don't know if that's from me or what. Um, to be fair, I believe this is a newer model of this case. Looking at pictures, it looks like the older versions. At first they had this Mont Blanc logo and then it was just black. It didn't have this little like silver ring around it. That's kind of what it seems like from pictures, at least. Also find it interesting that the cap is not straight. Um, gonna have to compare that to some more pictures. That seems like that wouldn't fly. Can I twist it? Hmm. Interesting. I just wanted to jump in and say, um, after doing some more research, after noticing that this isn't aligned, I saw that it is normal. I saw, I think, one picture where it was aligned and the rest were not aligned, which is kind of annoying. Like, it's just right off center. Like, oh, it's so close to being aligned. Why? And I also noticed that every picture with it open you couldn't see the corner so someone was definitely like holding it open while someone else took a picture i'm interested to see like after using this for a few years if it'll get softer though but yeah just wanted to give those updates i no longer think it's fake but it's still like <laughs> not worth what i paid and certainly not worth what other people are asking that's for sure but I'm okay with that. I knew what I was getting into when I got it. I knew it was a waste of money, but I just wanted to, to complete it. And that's exactly why other people are willing to pay the extravagant prices that other people are asking for on eBay. So if you're interested in getting one of these, I would definitely hold out for a good deal. They come up every once in a while. It's got the Mont Blanc stamp on the inside. And then these little ribs on the sides hold three cartridges. The elastic is fine. I guess it's good because you wouldn't want it to be too tight that you're really struggling to get the cartridge in. But you also don't want it to be too loose that it just comes flying out of the bottom or the top. 
And then in the middle, you have the area to put the pin in. And again, it's like, you really gotta hold it down and like wrestle with it to use it. But the pin slides in mm, fine enough. You just really have to fight it the whole way along, but it fits in there well. And the whole point of the 147 Traveler is that you just throw this into your bag and you have your fountain pen and a bunch of cartridges with you. And of course, the pen keeps the spare cartridge in it as well. So you end up having seven spare cartridges, not including the one that's actively being used. So that's pretty good. Especially with this thick nib, you want to be carrying some plenty of extra cartridges with you if you're traveling for any amount of time, really. Let me show you, just refresh your memory on how juicy this thing is. We're back to saying it's a medium, not a broad. <laughs> I know I go back and forth like every time I show it in a video, it feels like. And the thing is, Rhodia also makes it look drier because it's kind of a more absorbent paper, but this thing, juicy. So yeah, that's just a quick little video showing the case. I got like the complete collection now. I don't have a box. I would assume they came in like a box. I don't think I've seen a picture of that actually. But yeah, fits cartridges. You don't have to carry a box around, which I mean, that's fine. Who cares if you have to carry a box around? But I thought it was just a cool little setup to have this. Um, and I, I got a good deal on it, so I didn't mind too bad. I'd been thinking about getting it just to complete the collection. And so when I saw one for a decent price, under $100, I felt like I should get it. So here we are. Hope you enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Putin versus people. Evil versus good. Spank that little prick. Bare ass against wood.